like pretty warm, but not too warm. The nice sounds of the river, it's pretty good. Now about 15 kilometers from a uh, little village and the lodge. So it should be a pretty easy day. interesting about this trail is like pretty much every other trail I've done you'd like go up and over the mountains or the hills or whatever you can't or like follow some kind of like edge but this trail pretty much always just puts you right into the river valley so then you just are ending up like crossing a river like a dozen times you get mountains on either side it's very pretty it's very slow going just up and over the river, over the river, down the grass, over the river, um, you know, through the marsh. Whereas, like, you know, hiking up and over this on a trail is you know, significantly faster uh, and quite a bit easier in a lot of ways. Uh, so, it's just interesting. A different way to build a trail for sure. But it's really beautiful. My feet are cold because it is a frosty morning. And I've been crossing these rivers over and over and over again. But, you yeah, know, just something different. Kind of cool. Wouldn't like it if it was all the same. And these plants right here that are all over the trail are awful. Do you see how sharp they are? Yeah, they just pierce into your legs and leave little holes everywhere. After like, Two hours, I'm finally in the sun. I'm just really deep in that valley for the last like five kilometers. And it took forever. And I go up and over this hill. And then more river, marsh, nonsense. It's really, I don't know. It's a little bit too bad. Cause like this would have been so beautiful to like walk on. Yeah instead of being like down in the valley where you can't see anything and you're just like stomping through marshes and being stabbed by plants and stuff. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting place to put a trail, but that's the way it is. to Ohau Lodge and I got myself a little grilled cheese sandwich and I showered and I'm gonna try and do my laundry. The washing machine was full so I'll see that. Yeah. So I'm at Lake Ohau, and they just had like a really nice dinner inside the lodge. Like three courses, it's soup and prime rib and some kind of apple dessert. It was really good, but I'm so full. I feel like I could just like, wow, yeah, I'm just gonna roll into my tent, fall asleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> but it's been really nice. I hung out with another couple of hikers, uh, a woman from Norway and a man from Australia. And uh, yeah, it's just like really nice. It's good times. It's a beautiful place. Good morning. Oh, it's so bright. I slept in until 7.30 today. Because I had nowhere to be this morning. Mm. The part of the trail between Lake Ohau and Tekapa was really flat and mostly on the side of a road. So we opted to rent a couple of bikes and make our way there by bicycle over two days instead of walking there. Bicycles ready to go. It is a windy one today. 
bike ride. Right. Ready to get this show on the road? <laughs> we look awesome. <laughs> I feel like a crossing guard. Yeah. I like it. ocean to alps yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think there's a reason yeah there's a lot of climbing a lot uphill. yeah we're uh we're enjoying it and also happy to be walking again tomorrow yeah <laughs> biking uphill into the wind got the better of us a few times and we had to get off our bikes and just push them uphill. Hiding behind this power station eating lunch was our only break from the wind all day long. It was pretty brutal and we were very tired. We can walk 500 kilometers, but we can't bike 90. <laughs> so good. Of course he is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it has been a really long day. We've done about 60 kilometers into like a headwind the whole time. And uh, it's a probably 90% uphill. So it's been, uh, it's been pleasant. There's donuts. Woo! Oh, we made it all in one piece. We did it. Yay! <laughs> you guys look like construction workers. <laughs> With your vests on still, you're gonna take it home. <laughs> Lake Tekapo after like 60 
ish kilometers of biking into the wind. Um, so that was difficult. <laughs> but I've had a shower now, and we're gonna go get some food. And uh, generally, yeah, I'm feeling much better. That was a hard day. Feeling much better, cleaner, fresher. Yeah, all around better. <laughs> I'm just so tired. Into my tent and eat my food. Get out of here, silly bunnies. Shoo, go. You're cute, but go somewhere else. And that like deep gravel. like 18 kilometers today because we've all got a resupply this morning because we were so lazy last night we didn't want to do it um, and the winds are supposed to be bad so we'll hike to a low point and then we'll do the climb tomorrow when it's less windy <laughs> grocery store and get I think three days of resupply because I probably got like half half a day of food already in my pack and then yeah and then we're just trying to get uh, across the rivers so there's the Rangatata which is theoretically possible to cross in the right conditions so basically we're hoping for the right conditions and then we'll figure it out from there walk instead of bike. It was actually a nice two days. Even though the biking yesterday was really hard, it felt like kind of a break. And like not carrying my pack for a couple days was nice and just like doing something different on my legs. Even though my butt is so sore now. <laughs> I definitely won't be sitting on a bicycle again for a while. And if you were resupply, we had kind of like a nice lazy morning with this little like trip family that we have going on. There's like five of us. We're gonna try and stick together and cross the Rangatata together just to like be safe, you know, do it in a group. And then also in the case that we have to have a shuttle, then it will be cheaper if we all do it together. So that's, that's the plan. I think just four days we're doing, just in case we get stuck at the river, so we'll see. Resupplying in another country is always pretty fun. It gives you a good chance to try out all the snacks and some of the local foods and add different things to your pack each stretch. I love that the Cancer Society is what sells sunscreen out here. It's so funny. Yeah, I went real trash this time. I don't know.
Just hiked like 23 kilometers out of town. Found this really beautiful spot that is not windy. Yeah, we took a long lunch break. We had a really slow, nice morning. We resupplied. Took a swim in the lake, which was beautiful. And like just the right temperature. Just cold enough on a really hot day that it was lovely. Found a beautiful spot to camp near some water. And then we'll go up and over the high point tomorrow. We're kind of right on schedule to hit the river and see if we can cross it. Hopefully the weather is good. We'll see. Um, yeah, it was just a really beautiful day. It was pretty chill hiking. Most of it was like a flat gravel road. And then we were up into the hills for like eight kilometers or something. It was really nice. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, see what happens tomorrow. Good night. Okay.